Okay, all you tuna casserole fans out there, I have a little bit of an update on tuna casserole. It's a tuna mixture baked in shells. It's really elegant and delicious. Saute one small onion in three tablespoons of olive oil, just until translucent. When your onion is translucent, add a quarter cup of all-purpose flour to make your roux to thicken your sauce. Stir it around, make sure all your flour gets coated with oil. Cook it for a few seconds, maybe even a minute to cook off the raw flourness. Shouldn't smell raw flour-y. Whisk in four cups of whole milk. I like to start gradually so that it doesn't get lumpy. Don't forget that there's some onions in here, so it's never gonna be completely smooth because the onions, of course, are not going to dissolve. Once all your milk is added, you wanna bring it to a boil, whisking so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot and it'll thicken slightly when it boils. Season it with some salt. Don't forget that. You want a nice savory sauce to mix with your tuna to go into your shells. Then you cook it for about two minutes. Okay, now my sauce has come to a boil. It's slightly thickened. It's not a really, really thick sauce, but it's lightly thickened. So I have pureed in a food processor one hamburger bun with a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and some salt and pepper. That's gonna be mixed into the filling as well as I saved some for the topping. To your breadcrumb mixture, add two six ounce cans of tuna that have been drained. This is the chunk light tuna. And then half of the sauce that you made. The other half is gonna get poured on top. And then to add a little veg to this, to this dinner, how about 10 ounces of frozen spinach. I have one 10 ounce box of frozen spinach that I've defrosted and now I'm gonna squeeze out all the liquid. I like to do it in a clean kitchen towel. So squeeze out as much liquid as you can. And there's a lot, believe me. There's like three quarters of a cup of liquid in there. Add your spinach to the this is a package of chopped spinach, so you don't even need to chop it up after you squeeze out the liquid. Just add it to your tuna mixture. I do pull it apart a little because it got kind of condensed in there into a little ball. Stir it up. All right, that's it. That's your mixture. All right. I have a nine by 13 inch baking dish and I'm gonna fill my shells and then just put them into the baking dish. That was six ounces of shells that I par cooked almost completely cooked, but not completely, completely. Pour the remaining sauce over the top of your shells evenly. Mm. It's creamy deliciousness happening already. Top with the remaining breadcrumb mixture and then pop it into a 375 degree oven until it's bubbling and golden brown on top. It should take about 20 minutes. And just like that, it's done. It's tuna casserole, but even better. Tuna casserole for the 2014s. Kind of cuter than the original, don't you think? Plus you get the added health benefit of having spinach in there. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited about this new take on a tuna casserole. Tuna casserole shells for dinner tonight. Delish. I think all around, it's a good deal. guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.